Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today and today guys we have a brand new episode of the Wolfsburg career mode on FIFA 19 episode number 5 now I do believe um, obviously I want to apologise quickly uh, for not uploading this series as much as I would have wanted to um, in terms of it just relating to the other career modes I do uh, especially the Carniff one which is the main career mode I do uh, that gets uploaded much more frequently than this one does uh, and I do apologize for that um, which is rather annoying because I actually do kind of enjoy this um, series uh, but I just don't get enough time to record uh, this career mode as much as I do uh, the Cardiff one because realistically the Cardiff one is my main one it's the main one that I've been doing for much longer than this one and uh, <coughs> also people seem to much rather enjoy that one but anyway um, moving on into the video uh, that was a quick little brief, sorry for not uploading this one as much. Uh, hopefully I'll get two episodes out this week uh, to show you guys uh, what we've been getting up to in this career mode. So, just before I get into commentating over the highlights, uh, obviously because this footage is old, um, as the time I am recording this is the 22nd of January 2019, and this footage I recorded was back in 2018, so obviously... Uh, I've had uh, I've had a d bit of a spell of not uploading to YouTube, so uh, for various reasons. Uh, for a main reason, obviously, I've already talked about in previous videos and stuff. So now I'm back, hopefully making videos much more frequently. Um, so obviously, this is very very far behind in terms of the gameplay because uh, I played these games like month or maybe two months ago. You know, so uh, I just only have got around to recording it now uh, and uploading it for you guys so if you did if you do and go on to enjoy the video then please leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new we're approaching 600 subscribers which i mean thinking about it before it was on new year's eve i hit 500 subscribers and within half a month of me not really uploading I don't think I uploaded more than five videos for January so far and we're already nearly at 600 so the growth on the channel is insane and I really really am appreciative of every single person that watches my videos and subscribes anyway moving on into the gameplay now as you guys can see on the screen very very nice goal from Sanson the uh, French centre mid who pulls one back uh, to pull it at a 1 1 against Mans or Mains, however you want to say it. I went for a shot there, don't know why I even bothered to do that because it was a very, very weak attempt. Blazakowski goes for the finesse shot, gets blocked by the defender, it was a really, really nice block. And that defender, for some reason, he's just completely ran the ball out of play. Um, and we do get a corner, whip the ball in, and it is a header at the front post and it goes into the back of the net. In the 86th minute, late on here, I do believe this is my substitution um, or my sub striker, uh, Cutrone. Uh, however, you actually pronounce his name, you know, as most people know, I'm not very really good with pronouncing names in these career modes. Um, but right at the death there, he does get us a goal to put us 2 1 in the lead. We play some nice little football here with Mali, who came on off the bench. Whoops, a really nice ball to the back post, and it's another really good header from the man himself again, uh, Cutrone, or Cutrone, however you say it, you know, I'm going to say both throughout the episode most likely, um, getting himself two goals off the bench, which is really, really impressive, um, two headers as well, really, really showing his aerial threat there, as you can see there, sent the keeper the wrong way, and it's 3-1 now to Wolfsburg and that is going to be the end of this game we do move on into the next game which I do believe is a corrupt game now obviously I'm gonna we won 3 one which is brilliant uh, I'm gonna have to unfortunately show you only highlights um, because this was back when my computer was just crashing every time I was filming or recording videos thankfully now touch wood I've got uh, my PC fixed and I don't have any issues whatsoever in terms of uh, exporting videos, recording videos, recording, rendering, and also live streaming um, on Twitch. So I don't have any issues at the moment. So hopefully, from now on, every game that I do upload won't have to be like this, or I won't have to cut it out and explain at the end of the video. So unfortunately, these are the highlights of this game against Mujin Gladbach. It was a really good game from what I can remember, uh, and the scoreline does show it. Um, get a nice goal. Uh, here uh, in the 92nd minute I do believe that was a nice finesse shot into the top corner and we move on 
into the next game. Obviously, I'll just quickly show you the stats. They did dominate us in possession, but look at the shots and uh, chances created. We did have uh, a lot more in terms of shots on target and shots overall. So, a really big win for us there. Mujin Gladbach are kind of a... I'd probably say they're a higher... More more advanced team than Wolfsburg in in FIFA I guess, but we did manage to win that game. And this is the game I do believe is against Bayern. I'm not sure. Oh no, it's Werder Bremen. The next game is Bayern Munich because uh, there is a very very big game against Bayern coming up. And uh, yeah, Bayern Munich. Obviously, we'll talk about this game first. But I just wanted to quickly add Bayern Munich. The game was really really good. Um, very very good game. So. Eventually, when we get around to it, we'll talk about this. But for now, Werder Bremen against Wolfsburg, they created a nice little chance there. But unfortunately, uh, well, fortunate enough for us, it didn't come to anything. Uh, De Jong moving the ball around really, really nicely there. Gullivogi gets the ball, goes for a fake shot, drills inside, shoots, and it's just wide of the top corner there. Really, really nice effort from him. Uh, Luke De Jong picks the ball up again. Sanson, nice little uh, pass back to De Jong. He's through on goal, and he drills over the crossbar, and unfortunately... Um, it does go for a corner. Fortunately enough, for it, it does go for a corner. Um, um, again, another chance created. Here we go again with the left back. He's running down the wing. He shoots, and it's a great save. And the header is away uh, as we pick up the ball again. Sanson one check inside, and the finesse shot is not good at all. As we approach the half-time whistle, should be doing better from that angle and that position of the pitch. Uh, moving on into the 70th minute or so, De Jong waiting for the players to run ahead. In Tep with a one-touch pass to Sanson, drills it across, and it's a good save from the keeper because that would have definitely gone in. And uh, he actually got booked for something he did before. Oh, it was Brokello, sorry. Brokello got booked, not Sanson. Uh, Brokello actually came off then. Uh, we get a corner, whip it in. Again, it goes out for another corner. Really, really um, good pressure from us here. Whipped it in again. And unfortunately, we could not convert from that corner. Moving on into the 75th minute in this game. And Tep is running down the wing. Cuts it inside to Sanson. Plays it across. Can we get the ball in the net? Oh, it's just intercepted at the last second from that defender. Really good block there. Uh, Wolfsburg tried... Uh, Werder tried to make a chance there. And uh, fortunate enough for us, that striker was offside. And we do get the ball back up into their half. But unfortunately... The game does come down to a nil-nil draw, and we move on into the big game, which I was talking about before. It is Wolfsburg at home versus Bayern Munich, and this game, I just, yeah, Bayern Munich, you know, top of the league, you should be beat, trying to beat Bayern Munich, or try and get any points. We play a nice ball in there, and the defender had to get rid of that, because that could have easily crawled into the... Um, bottom corner there as an own goal whipped in unfortunately we couldn't get De Jong's head on to the end of that as you can see we do pick up the ball uh, playing some nice football here I really like the way um, Wolfsburg play the uh, like possession game unfortunately we do our, our attack does break down um, with the ball gets cleared but we do a counter attack in at the 15th minute Bracallo here pushing on in he must score surely Drills it completely wide of the goal, and it was a very, very poor effort from him indeed. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it, he probably should have scored, but you know, we go again into the 29th minute now. Lovely play from uh, Wolfsburg here. Raquel gets another chance, shoots, and again, he's actually done the identical shot, and he's just drilled it past the goal, well wide of the goal. And unfortunately, he misses again. He gets another chance here. Can he finish it? No, because Neuer makes a really nice save there. And um, we get a corner again, whipped in. De Jong is front post. Neuer punches it out. Can we get the rebound into Sanson? Can't get the ball in. Play it back down to, uh, I think that was one of the centre-backs, into Sanson. Goes for a shot and it is blocked and straight at Neuer. We move on into the 37th minute here. Lewandowski uh, playing a nice 1-2 with Robin. Plays it down to, I believe that was Hamez. And it was drilled at the keeper, Castillo's. He made a really, really good save there. Uh, Robin plays the corner short into Nabry. Nabry plays it back to Robin, who eventually gives it back to Thiago. Giving it back to Alba, into Robin. Really nice football here from Bayern Munich. Robin with a 1-2, and he can't lay it off to Nabry there. And we do come away with the ball with Sanson here. Uh, waiting for some options here, because there wasn't many. Into De Jong, into Intept. Can we do something with the ball? I should have probably shot and not done a fake shot. Um, but unfortunately, that attack does break down. 
and um, Bayern come away with the ball in the last minute of the first half. Robin waiting for the run. I can't tackle him. Into Lewandowski and it goes into the bottom corner. And unfortunately, we do go 1-0 down to Bayern Munich. Literally on the stroke of half-time. And we do move on into the second half. 1-0 down. And for some reason, that was a foul. I don't know if that was a free kick or not. Let's be honest, I'd, it's probably a harsh foul to give uh, away there. Robin whips the ball in. Who's there? Lewandowski into the top corner with the header there. I just didn't know what to do um, with that. Lewandowski outjumped our players. Uh, but we get a massive chance here with Ntep as he runs into all the space in the world. Can he finish it? No, he can't. He puts it wide of the goal. And we bring on Mali uh, to try and strengthen that attack. Uh, in that centre attacking mid roll, he plays a really nice pass out to Intept, who's got another chance here. Uh, waiting for the players to get in the box, go for a finesse shot, and it goes over the crossbar. Again, another chance for Intep, uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't go in, and uh, that is the game. Unfortunately, as you can see, the scoreboard is very glitched in uh, this game. Uh, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, you know, we couldn't uh, close out that game and try and get a win against Bayern. But we move on into the next game against Dusseldorf. Away from home, you know, Dusseldorf, when you when you hear the name Dusseldorf, you don't really expect uh, a hard team or a hard game. Um, so I was going into this, even though we've just come off the back of a loss, I am going in pretty confident with this um with this game hopefully hopefully we can get all three points and get some goals against Dusseldorf now they kicked off and we've won the ball back within uh, the first minute of them kicking off and um, tried to play it back inside there with Brakello but unfortunately I couldn't so we now have a corner whipped in De Jong's back post and it goes over the crossbar but it is deflected and it is another corner whipped in can we get a goal no but it does bounce back out too Brickello, I do believe, goes for the shot and it's a comfortable save for the keeper. Again, Dusseldorf tried to make an attack. Got lucky with that 50-50 um, of Brooks. Cuts inside, lays it across and it is drilled into the bottom corner. Again, unfortunately, Castils couldn't keep it out and that defending was not great for me there. Um, really, really poor. A nice ball into Brickello here. Drills it, hits the crossbar of all places and it gets booted out. Could have scored literally within a minute of them scoring. Um, but unfortunately we couldn't. Just before half time we get the ball into Dijon. He waits for the run. Waits for the run. And then plays it through. Can we finish it? Bang. Straight into the top corner there. And it was a really, really nice finish there. From the man himself. Uh, Brickello. Putting it into the top bins. As you see from this great angle. Straight into that top corner. Really, really nice work goal. Uh, especially from Dijon, waiting for the run of um, Brickello. And he's cool, calm and collective. And he drills it into the top corner to put us a 1-1 in this game. Just before half-time as well, which is always a bonus um, for us. As you can see, we move on into second half. Brickello takes it past the defender, cuts back inside. Waiting for an option, gives it back to Arnold. Arnold into Gilavogi, into Sanson, finesse. And it's just wide of the post again. Creating some good chances in this game. Hopefully we can go on and get another goal to put us in the lead. As we have a throw in down in this corner of the pitch. Arnold into Gilavogi in two. Sanson cuts it back. Waits for the run and bang. Finesses it into the top corner to make it 2-1 to Wolfsburg in the 70th minute. Really, really nice finish there from uh, our man Sanson. Again, really enjoying uh, Sanson in this career mode. I can see holds off the defender, two touches in front of him. And as you'll eventually see, he does put it into the top bag. And that is 2-1 to Wolfsburg. Really nice finish there from Sanson. He always seems to get some nice goals, you know. Um, again, moving on, Arnold plays it inside, shoots, and it is a good save from the keeper. Uh, and Tep there, I think, got away from the defenders. Uh, and we do whip in a corner. It is blocked as we are getting past the additional minutes of this game. Whipped in. Can we get another goal? It's bouncing everywhere. I think we might have one chance to shoot. And we do. And it goes straight at the keeper. And that, guys, is full time of this game. Another win for Wolfsburg as we move on into the last game of the episode. It is against um, one of the second league or third league teams in the uh, Polka 
um, Cup, the, obviously the German Cup. Um, as you can see there, we score a penalty right there. Um, uh, this game, obviously, I didn't want to play it because I didn't want to... I don't know, I thought it was it would have been a comfortable game on Sim. As we go 2-0 up there with Stefan getting a goal there. Uh, yeah, so I thought it would just be an easy game. As you can see, we are 2-0 up. So, oh, make that 3-0. Mali, I think, getting another goal there um, in the ninth minute. And we do take down a 3 0 win in the cup. So that is the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!